Hi, welcome to Escape Forever Free. I'm so sorry that your broadcast is late today, but your one hour alone time, God, is still valid all the way until the next day begins. You choose your hour. We are at Escape, we're teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. Usually we start our one hour alone time with God together just for the support. If you're coming for the first time, welcome. Please click the bell icon and stay with us. Here we're working and investing in physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness as we prepare to return to our holy state as we prepare to meet our maker. Let us pray. Father, thank you for another occasion that we can find time in the day even though it might be later than usual, to pause with you one hour between us and you only. Accept our worship, we beg, and give us light, enlighten our darkness, and save us in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Our memory text for this week comes to us from Psalm 84. We practice it, so recite it for Friday. Psalm 84, verse 2. My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord, my heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. Psalm 84 verse 2. My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Psalm 84 verse 2. My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Psalm 84 verse 2. My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. God will help us to recall this in due season, to glorify his name, and to edify souls, even our own. This morning's devotional reading, not this morning, this Today's devotional reading comes to us from Maranatha's devotional guide. So we kick start with it into to, to push start us for our one hour alone time with God. It is entitled Confusion of Many Voices. Key text going with this more with, with this reading is Revelation 18 and verse 4. And it reads: I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye may not be that ye be not partakers of her sins and that he receive not of her plagues revelation 18 verse 4 confusion of many voices in the last work for the warning of the world two of these distinct calls are made to the churches the second angel's message is babylon is fallen is fallen that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and in the loud cry of the third angel's message a voice is heard from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues for her sins have reached heaven unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. As God called the children of Israel out of Egypt, that they might keep his Sabbath, so he calls his people out of Babylon, that they may not worship the beast or his image. After the truth has been proclaimed as a witness to all nations, every conceivable power of conceivable power of evil will be sent in operation and minds will be confused by many voices crying, Lo, here is Christ. Lo, he is there. This is the truth. I have the message from God. He has sent me with great light. Then there will be a removing of the landmarks 
and an attempt to tear down the pillars of our faith a more decided effort will be made to exalt the false sabbath and to cast contempt upon god him upon god himself by supplanting the day he has blessed and sanctified this false sabbath is to be enforced by an oppressive law but while satan works with his line wonders the time will be fulfilled foretold in revelation and the mighty angel that shall lighten the earth with his glory will proclaim the fall of babylon and call upon god's people to forsake her when do her sins reach unto heaven when the law of god is finally made void by legislation then the extremity of god's people is his opportunity to show who is the governor of heaven and earth as a satanic power is stirring up the elements from beneath god will send light and power to his people and the message of truth sorry that the message of truth may be proclaimed to all the world the end confusion of many voices this devotional reading reminds us that as we now go into the end very close to it then we're going to have many doctrines that are going to come across our path we're going to have many confusion of voices it is time as i said to study diligently the book of revelation and daniel because they speak clearly of these things so you can know the genuine so when the counterfeit turns up in any form of, of its great mimicking you will not be swept away truth and light is available now but there comes a time when you will knock on the door for it and that door shall not open please seek after truth and light no prepare yourself to withstand the days of deception and find truth and light in the power of the good book the sabbath truth as explained in revelation hebrews the sanctuary message the gospel of salvation as explained in revelation daniel hebrews all of these different messages and the state of the dead see about these matter these matters and understand them fully and if you lack under lack understanding on them seek truth and light you will find it if that includes asking me any questions feel free to leave your comment at the comment section i'll do my best to give you guidance in responding to your queries let us pray before we pray, let us do our meditation on song. Our meditation on song, redeemed. So in the midst of all of this, at the end of it all, we have redemption plan in store for us so we can be rescued from the times that are coming upon us. Redeemed how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through his infinite mercy his child and forever i am redeemed 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 by the blood of the lamb redeemed uh, i love to proclaim it his child and forever i am i think of my blessed redeemer i think of him all the day long i sing for i cannot be silent is love is the theme of my song redeemed 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 by the blood of the lamb I love to proclaim it, his child and forever I am. I know I shall sing it as 
beauty the king in laws I delight more loving he guardeth my footsteps and giveth me songs in the night redeems 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 by the blood of the lamb redeems oh, i love to proclaim it his child and forever i am what a promise in the midst of the trouble that is soon to come upon us seek your salvation because indeed our redemption draweth nigh let us pray father we thank you for your light we thank you for your truth i beg and pray all persons in the hearing of this prayer who are so humbled broken contract before you and desirous to be led into all truth and light concerning the state of the dead the sabbath holy sacred set aside day of rest and worship this sanctuary message the three angels message all the messages that you have relevant to our salvation and relevant to us armoring ourselves to be prepared for the battle that is about to bring the final events upon this earth into full play will be given to such person who now pray and now humble themselves and ask for you to give it these things rather unto them may none of them be lacking in these things and above all may none of them be missing when you shall divide the sheep from the goats in jesus name i pray amen thanks for joining and i pray that you will continue for your one hour alone time this evening with god and remember doesn't have to be my time but one hour with him is good time Set, set aside the time, search the scriptures diligently, patiently, with humility and with prayerfulness and brokenness of heart and work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Not a fear that is afraid, but a fear that understands reverence and know who it is that is your God and your maker. Walk good, but above all, walk with God. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of all hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Good day. See you soon.